The people are the city. That's the official motto of Barrie, Ontario. And it looks like most of the people like what they see. Welcome to Barrie TV! There's been a lot of changes here in Barrie. There has been so much development, just the subdivisions, uh, a lot of growth, a lot of jobs and things coming to Barrie. And uh, I think it's just, it's a fantastic place um, that's booming and becoming a lot like Toronto. I think it's a better quality of life up here. You know, you've got lots of parks, you've got the lake right behind us here. Every time I come back here after like a trip to Toronto, I feel like this is my home because it's it's so amazing. It's it's calm and people are so polite and there is no such a rush of, of the big city here. Located on the western shore of Lake Simcoe, about an hour north of Toronto, Barrie is booming. Its population of nearly 140,000 has more than doubled in the last 20 years. And that means Barrie has had to grow up since 2006, more than half of new homes have been built inside the city. And Barrie has had to grow out. In 2010, Barrie annexed nearly 3,000 acres of land from the neighboring municipality of Innisfil to accommodate its needs. Barrie has a very unique offering as a place to live and as a place to run a business. We are between Toronto and Muskoka, uh, the recreational heart of the province and the economic capital of the country. Barrie's a unique place because it's a city of, you know, give or take uh, about 140, 150,000 people that behaves like it's a city of 30 or 40,000 people. That's what most people love about it. Once you get here, you, you never leave. We're like Hotel California. But Barrie isn't just attracting people, it's attracting jobs as well. Major banks and data centers have located operation centers here. And retail is growing too. It now makes up 12% of the city's total workforce. The story of the city is growth and we've continued to grow very quickly. But what's happened in recent years is our economy has started to diversify. This is a city that coming out of the recession actually had one of the highest unemployment rates in the whole country. Today we have the second lowest of all big cities, uh, east of Manitoba in fact. We're also seeing a lot of growth in, in smaller creative industries, particularly in the downtown core. Uh, some of that is related to uh, that professional services sector, uh, but there's also a growing cultural and tourism sector here as well. So one of the biggest changes is we're diversifying. Bottom line, Barry's median household income is just over $61,000 a year, about $4,000 more than Ontario's as a whole. And its unemployment rate is lower than the provincial average. All this growth comes at a cost. Barry's got a long history of bad planning. Barrie was never kind of expected to be a city of the size it is now. For people that aren't from Barrie, when they see it for the first time, are really confused about it. Things don't run kind of in a typical perpendicular and parallel fashion. Barrie's kind of grown out of its own skin a little bit. So Barrie's got a big decision on what it wants to be. Does it want to be a, a big, sprawling city, or is it a city that realizes that it needs to um, create more density in its, in its downtown core, uh, decide what it wants on the outskirts of new annexed lands? What kind of employment do we want to grow here? What kind of education uh, systems are we going to have here? Are we going to have a university in Barrie? What kind of workforce are we going to have to attract the kinds of companies that we want? These are all decisions that uh, we have actually the exciting chance to make in Barrie, but we also have um, kind of the, the scary part of it is the, that we have to make that decision. But even as Barry tries to figure out what it wants to be as it grows up, the city just keeps growing. <laughs>